everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder here at Upkeep. And once again, it is release Friday. Hey y'all, my name is Spencer. I'm a product manager here and I'm excited to share some features with you. All right, this week we've got a ton of new features on deck to share with you all today. And here's just a quick preview of some of my personal favorites from this week. All right, we've made a ton of new improvements to our request portal. You can upload unlimited photos now. On our work order task type, it now supports PDF files. On top of that, you can also assign a quantity to your set of parts. You can view received quantities in your purchase order list and email purchase orders directly in Upkeep. On top of all of these feature enhancements, we've also made some big improvements to our downtime tracking and also custom roles and permissions, giving you more access and control for custom role types directly within Upkeep. And that was a lot and just a short snippet of some of the features that we've released in the last seven days. I'm going to pass it over to Spencer. He'll show you exactly how it works within Upkeep. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. All right. So starting here in the request portal, you can now create a new request and upload as many images as you need to communicate the problem uh, to the rest of your team. So you can upload, you know, multiple select them here. They'll be added to the, the image area and then you can submit the work order request and those will carry through here in upkeep in my request list. You can see now all those images come through, giving your team more context than ever into exactly what's going wrong and hopefully getting your request approved in lightning time. Coming over to our work order page, you now have the ability on tasks to attach a PDF to a task. Uh, this just allows you again to communicate more information, more ways of communicating information with the rest of your team uh, by, by supporting more file types uh, that you can upload here on tasks. Moving over to parts and inventory, we now have the ability to create a set of parts that has quantities attached to those. So a good use case for this is if you have, you know, a certain PM or, or certain amount of work that always uses the same parts and always uses the same number of those parts, you can build that set here and say exactly how many of that part you'll need to use, save those changes. And then when you go to your work order and actually add those parts to the PM, you can add them from a set. And just like you see, I've already done here, it's gonna go ahead and add all those quantities uh, that have been specified on the set. Again, saving you time, not having to click and, and, and manually enter those quantities. All right, headed to purchase orders. Now, on particularly on purchase orders that have been partially fulfilled in this number of items column, you can drop this down and see exactly how many you have received yet, which also helps you understand how many you're still waiting to get uh, from your vendor. Uh, again, giving you more information kind of at the click of a button without having to dig in through, through all sorts of different pages just to see some information. And last but certainly not least, uh, we now have the ability to send a PO straight from upkeep. So, you know, once a purchase order has been approved, you can come in here and, it, you know, rather than having to generate your PDF and manually send it, you can just click this email PO button. It'll auto fill the vendor's email in here if you set one up uh, on your vendor subject purchase order and then send that email. The email then gets sent directly to whatever email you've specified with this PDF version of the purchase order attached to it. Again, saving you time for, uh, and, and just helping you move through your purchasing workflow uh, with ease. And that is, uh, is all I have to show you today. Back to you, Ryan. That was a ton. And thank you, Spencer, our entire Upkeep team. Thank you to all of our customers. We've been hard at work, obviously, um, building new features, products, listening to you, our customers, go into Upkeep, check it out. Let us know what you think. My email is ryan at upkeep.com. And I try my best to do, um, to try to respond to every single customer email that I get. So thank you again for being a customer of ours, supporting us and, you know, ultimately pushing us to build better features and products for you. We've got even more releases in the pipeline. I'm excited to see you next Friday. Thanks everyone. Happy Friday.